Hello and welcome to We Explain DeFi Chain. My name is Daniel and today I will start a new small series in this format. It is about uh, the wallet. It will have a character of a tutorial and I will do it alone because between the steps you need some time. I will cut them out of the video on YouTube. Uh, but it is a long waiting time, waiting for blocks, and so I will do it alone without Mark. I hope it's okay for you. If you like what you see, give me a like. Also subscribe to the channel. Click the bell button so you will not miss any other tutorials coming up. And then I would say, let's start with creating a wallet on your smartphone with the light wallet of DeFi Chain. Let's go. Okay, let's start with the screen share in the middle of the screen you see my mobile device with the uh, DeFi chain light wallet and on the right side you see the steps we want to do in this short clip so after starting the light wallet on a fresh uh, installed system you see this screen you have two options create wallet and restore and in our case we start with creating the wallet so before you can start, there are some guidelines uh, mentioned uh, here. The developers wrote down you have to save the 24 words for the recovery, store it on a safe place, uh, keep them private, nobody should have access to them, and so on. You have to accept this, so you understood what they are mean uh, here with the uh, notes, and after you accepted it, you can show the 24 recovery words. Here they are, so 1, 2, 24, and you have to write them down, maybe on a piece of paper or on other device uh, with no internet connection, um, what you like. It should be safe and nobody should access to it. So I also write it now down. Uh, it will need some time, so I do a cut on this position and come back after writing them. Now I finished writing them down and I can click verify words. So now the app is checking that you have really saved them and ask you a couple of them uh, via a multiple choice test. So the first uh, question is regarding word number 12 in my case. I have to look here. It was damp. So now I will answer all the other questions and come back after uh, the complete selection. Okay, I answered all the questions and now I can click verify. And next step here is putting in a passcode. So what's the difference between the recovery words and the passcode? So the recovery words are used to restore the wallet on any other device and the passcode is protecting the current device. If someone gets access to your smartphone, opens the light wallet, he or she can do nothing without a passcode. Just have a look on the funds. But if you want to do something on the blockchain interacting with it, you have to put in a passcode. So here, this is another security feature to protect uh, your funds. You choose one, two, three, four, five, six. You have to put it again. To be sure you remember the right uh, numbers and now everything is encrypted in the background to protect also the private information against access uh, if someone has uh, for example stolen your smartphone okay here we are now we created the wallet and we are starting with the main or the home screen that's also the second point of this clip. What can we see here? In the uh, upper middle area, you see your deposit address. Uh, on the uh, upper left side, the small symbol for the settings. We will have a look inside what's there. Uh, in the center, you see the current uh, holdings of the DFI. In our case, it's zero because it's a new wallet. And you can select here different tabs starting with the balances, then you have the DEX. I show uh, the features here in another episode and the transactions. And to my knowledge, the loans and walls is also 
uh, added here as the fourth tab. So let's jump into the settings. What you can do here is changing the passcode. So setting up the wallet with a passcode and maybe you want to change it because uh, someone saw how you typed in the number, then you can go here, change passcode. Uh, you have to verify the access with the old one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now you are able to change the number to a new one. Okay, verifying the access also needs some time. And now we can put in the new one. One, 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 two, two, two. Again. It also take a few seconds and then everything is done for changing the passcode. Jumping back to the setting menu, we can now choose uh, the recovery word section. What is this feature? Uh, you should uh, keep the recovery words on a safe place, but maybe you lost them and the wallet is still running on, on your smartphone and you want to have a look how they look like, then you can choose this menu. Also the passcode is needed to do anything here typing in, verifying access again, and then the 24 words are shown again for you to make a copy of them. Here we are, 24 words from number one to number 24. And uh, this always needs some time because in the background there's a decryption running. So with the passcode, the information needs to be decrypted, showing here. Uh, make a copy and that's your more or less backup of the wallet. Back on the balances page, you see I sent one DFI to the wallet before I remove the wallet from the app or unlink it. And uh, the last step would be the restore. But first we have to remove it. We click on the settings scroll down to the bottom and we see this unlink wallet option. If I click here, a new screen pops up and uh, asks again, do you have the recovery uh, passphrase, the 24 words? I say yes, and then I can unlink the wallet. And we are back on the starting page of the wallet after installation on your uh, mobile device. And here you see the two options, create wallet where we started this clip and now we select restore wallet. The following uh, window shows you 24 fields for putting in the words. <clears throat> this will also need some time. So I type it in and come back in a few seconds. Now I finished typing in all 24 words and I can click here, restore wallet. I have to define a new passcode. So it's not the old one. The passcode is not stored on the blockchain. It's just this uh, current device. So I can choose a new one. For example, the 6543216541. So protect it again. Okay, home screen again. The wallet is restored. I see this one DFI I sent before to the wallet and everything is fine. Okay, and that was episode one of this tutorial series. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about the handling of the light wallet. If you have uh, further questions, please let me know in the comments so I can have a look on it, ask, uh, answer them or maybe have to create an additional episode. Uh, I can also recommend to do this unlink and restore steps on your own with a small amount of fund so that you get familiar with this procedure and um, being more comfortable and not losing any funds. And um, that was it. Stay tuned for the next episodes and have a nice time. Bye.